Hi guys, Mantas here, and today I will show you how to create WordPress child theme for any theme. But before we do that, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. First of all, you will need to create a folder on your computer. And it's good practice to name it as a, your parent theme where all designs and functionality will be pulled out and dash child. But actually you can name it any way you want. So in this case, I'm going to name it as my website name. Once you do that, you have to create several files on that folder. One file is going to be style.css. And this is common problem on Windows. Uh, and you may face it as well. So make sure you see file extensions. So show file extensions. And as you can see, this file is txt as a text document. So I'm going to rename it style.css. And yes. And we're going to need another one, another file functions.php Now we have to add some data to those files in order for the functionality and design to be pulled out from your parent theme uh, to your child theme. Open style CSS and in order to edit those files I like to use some sort of code editor. You can use Notepad++, Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code. In this case I like to use Visual Studio Code. Just open style CSS file. I have made a blog post about this and there is a there is sections where you can copy and paste the code. Just copy. Go to that file. paste and you can change all the data on those lines after colon except from template on a template section here it must be written your theme parent theme name so in this case I'm using generate press but you may be using another one like Astra Divi 2020 or any other so the name of the theme must be written here and all other data like here let's say I could write all right now save the file and close it all right so one file is ready you can now add some data to functions page again same story and very important is not to leave any gaps on the first line Many times people try to create a child theme and on functions PHP they leave on the first line gap space. So make sure there are no spaces on the first line because it's gonna break and not work. So I can change here, let's see. And this is just a friendly reminder. Add your custom PHP in this file and only edit this file if you have direct access on your to your server. That's because if you, you know, modifying theme and something breaks, you may need to go and log into your server to a file to access your file manager, you know, to maybe modify files directly or delete theme all in all if something bad happens. So saved file, and those two files are ready now. You can create a screenshot.png file, which I created already. I have it somewhere, I think I had it on my disk C. Yeah. What this file will do, it will show up as a featured image on your child theme. All right, so I have that screenshot.png file. And when you open themes under appearance in your WordPress dashboard, it's going to show as a featured image as your theme, like logo 
or something like that. As you can see, here is a generate press, and here is mine created screenshot. Now all the files are ready. What you need to do now, you have to compress this folder into zip format. In order to do that, you can use WinRAR, which is always free trial, <laughs> or natively in Windows. If you're using Windows 11, Windows 11 got that feature. And I'm very happy. Many years passed. I don't know why they haven't done it earlier. So you have to compress to zip. And there you have it. This is your child theme. So now log into a WordPress dashboard. Go to Appearance, Themes, Add New, Upload. Browse, and here's our Pikmin child.zip file. Open that file and install now. You have completely manually done your child theme and uploaded to your website. I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments in the comment section, and I will talk to you soon. Cheers.